Peach Melba. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Peach Melba. This iconic Australian dessert was invented and named after a famous soprano singer from Australia whose name was Dame Nellie Melba. This simple, classic, delicious dessert is very easy to make and the ingredients are in the recipe box below. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do in a pan over low heat is add our, all of our ingredients except for our peaches and make a syrup. So the brown sugar in the water, the cinnamon, the vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract and the sweet red wine. And just give that a stir around. Essentially what we are doing is poaching our peaches in this fragrant syrup. So we need to dissolve this sugar just over a low heat. Now we are going to peel our peaches as thinly as possible. Our syrup has come to a gentle simmer. We'll just turn that off for the moment. If there are any bruises or any marks on your peaches, remove them. The fruit should be quite sound underneath. These are really quite ripe and some of them are a little bruised where they've been resting against each other. But the, the fruit in itself is fine. Just remove anything that is discoloured or uh, a little soft. Now these peaches are freestone or slipstone peaches. I want you to get your knife, they're quite slippery so be very careful, and take it right around the edge of the fruit. Put your thumb in the centre and separate it like so. Then if you can get your nail underneath there or a spoon underneath there and just lift that off and there you have two equal halves. Okay, our fruit has been peeled, had the stone removed, and cut into halves. Now we're going to lower them into our syrup carefully so that you don't splash yourself. They've started to oxidise already because they're so fresh, so uh, just get them covered in the syrup to slow down that oxidisation process. And give them a squeeze, good squeeze of lime or lemon juice, whatever you happen to have available. That will cut through some of the sweetness and hopefully prevent it from oxidising any further. We just want this to poach slowly for about 10 minutes or so until the fruit is just starting to soften and take on some of these colours. So just bring it up to a gentle simmer. These are white peaches so they aren't going to turn yellow. If you used a yellow coloured peach it would go more apricot in colour. They will take on the hue of the red wine though. Move them around so that all of the surfaces are being covered with this syrup, which is already starting to look a little thicker. Okay, after about eight minutes on a gentle simmer, our peaches are still intact. We're going to remove them from our poaching fluid and set them to one side. Increase the heat on the fluid and reduce it down to more of a sauce. You could, of course, thicken this with a little potato flour and water if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. Okay, our syrup has reduced down. It's quite, it's a lot thicker than water, but it's not as thick as cream. So we don't want it any more than that because it'll end up reducing down and making it too sweet. So just turn it off now and we're ready to plate up. Okay, we'll put some of our peaches into a pretty bowl and just drizzle some of our sauce over the top. And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's Peach Melba. It doesn't get much more Australian than that. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas please check out my Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to subscribe. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.